Hey guys, welcome to BitBoy Crypto. I am your host, BitBoy. Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of news stories. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys something that happened on Twitter that makes me think that maybe the general public is finally starting to buy into Bitcoin, even though the prices are crashing. But before we go any further, make sure you are a subscriber to our channel. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications, drop a like while you're at it. If you are a subscriber, you drop a like and you also make a comment on this video, you have the opportunity to win $500 worth of Ethereum and merch for October and November. Get the full contest rules below. Also, big shout out to Crypto Movement, big sponsor of the podcast, Beards and Bitcoins, sent me this really sweet uh, Stranger Things uh, style hoodie today. So uh, I'm going to rock this thing. It is hoodie season. Big shout out to Crypto Movement. You can check them out at crypto-movement.com. That's MVMT. Okay, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get to the news. Let's get to the charts here. As you can see, Bitcoin's around 5,500-ish right now. It was uh, right at 5,500 on Coinbase uh, a little bit ago. I was checking it. As you can see, a lot of red today. Um, it seems like yesterday we had a little bump, and then today we kind of returned to where we were uh, when the price crashed the other day. Uh, really no reason to get too much into the technicals of uh, the charts. It's pretty much everything is red um, today, so I, ain't nobody got time for that. So here we are. Um, I found this post um, from Imager, if you will. It was on Reddit, and it said Batman question mark, and I really wanted to understand what it was saying, and so I went and I looked at the bottom and I tried to follow the chart, and then I found Batman. I am Batman. Bitman. Bitboy. Anyways, I thought those were pretty funny. <laughs> it made me laugh when I saw it. I hope that made you laugh too, because it really does look like bit, uh, Batman. That is the uh, one-hour chart, I believe, from today. So, okay, we got Pantera Capital CEO. He likes to make these big, bold predictions. He says in a decade, billions of people will be using Bitcoin. He said a few years ago, there was about 1 million. Right now, there's about 50 million. And he can see in 10 years that billions of people will be using Bitcoin. And that actually really lines up with what I've talked about on the channel a lot about how two thirds of the countries um, in the world, it costs them more money to print their money than their money is worth. And it makes total sense for them to go to a digital currency. Um, I put that number at about 5 billion people that really fits that description. And then there's also like, let's just say only half of those people were to use it. Two and a half billion, that is a lot of people into crypto um, compared to what there is now. So found this article. It says, while everyone was busy with the hash wars, Tracky, which is a, or Tracky probably is what it is, a big department store chain in Venezuela started taking crypto as payment. We know that Venezuela, people have been buying things on the black market, but by buying things on the black market, I mean like toilet paper and eggs and necessities with cryptocurrencies such as Nano and Dash. Um, so today it said that uh, this person bought $260 in crypto worth of school supplies and clothing in Venezuela from this department store. 800 items are going to be donated to kids in need. So I thought that was really cool. It's just a positive story. Um, really with the prices of crypto right now, we need some positive stories. And I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, then we have crypto.com. If you don't know, it's formerly Monaco. They are a payment solution where basically they have Visa cards where people can spend crypto or that allow people to spend crypto. And today they were actually, uh, it was actually announced that they are ahead of schedule and they are going to be, they go ahead and get the green light for these metal Visa cards to be printed. As you can see, they have a chip in them as well. And any time we see anything positive where a project is ahead of their roadmap and the product they're working towards, it's really good news. So I thought this was good news. The price got about a 10% pump today based on that. So crypto.com is a sneaky low cap gem, I feel like. It, it definitely has potential. Um, I know I did a, a dump hodl or trade, hodl trader dump. I haven't done one of those in a while. Probably need to do one soon. Um, dump everything. But uh, um, anyways, I did one where I did crypto.com and Request Network and Pundi X. And I actually put this one as the one I wanted to dump, but I said it was a good project at the time and it just continues to move forward. So there may be a time where it's time to consider, maybe I made a wrong decision on that one. So then we have this SEC case, which I thought was very interesting. Um, they basically gave penalties to two ICOs, Air Fox and Paragon. Now those projects had only raised 12 million and 15 million um, 
between the or not between the two of them, but uh, individually, one raised twelve million, one raised fifteen million. So we're not talking about anything close to like the EOS level where it's you know four billion or anything like that. But basically, the ICO said that they were selling securities and they shouldn't have done it in the way that they did it. And this is what I've been telling you guys for a long time. Everyone is not going to jail in these ICOs unless it was a clear scam. Really what is happening is these places are getting fines and they were both levied with a $250,000 fine, which when you take that compared to how much money they raised, it really actually wasn't that much unless of course they've blown through it in the bear market. And then that actually maybe about all the projects are worth, but what the, this is let, uh, lay down a precedent for what we're going to see with ICOs being investigated in the future. And probably if they cooperate, just like we saw with Ether Delta, if they cooperate with the SEC, then they're probably just going to get a fine. It's not going to be a big deal. Of course, you do have projects like BitConnect, where it was a total scam. And yes, the SEC is going to go hot and heavy after those uh, after those type of companies. And in those situations, people probably will go to jail. But when people, when ICOs are just raising money and trying to copy a business model that other ICOs used when the regulation wasn't clear yet, I don't think we're going to see anybody get anything more than hefty slaps on the wrist. So we also have the Bray browser with a new um, model of the browser coming out soon. It's going to be called the speed reader mode. It's going to be 27 times faster, uh, 2.4 times less memory, and 84x bandwidth saving. So the Brave browser continues to move forward. I'll be totally honest with you guys. I made a pretty good investment today in Basic Attention Token. I love that project. I'm trying to get it up to where it's my biggest bag. I think if I just keep talking about how great it is, because I do believe it is it has the greatest working product that is a non-store of value coin in the top 100. It's time I really start putting my money where my mouth is. And I really think Basic Attention Token is going to be one that is going to be around for a long time, guys. So last, I teased this at the beginning. This was a tweet on Twitter, believe it or not. The tweet was on Twitter by Ron Paul, former U.S. Senator. And I thought this was very interesting. And I actually saw this when it came out and I retweeted it. I voted in the poll. Now, Bitcoin <laughs> wins this poll, which is really cool. So it says a wealthy person gives you $10,000. You get to choose in which form you'll accept the gift, but there's a catch. You must keep the gift in the form that you choose for 10 years without touching it. In which form would you accept the gift? We have 2% saying Federal Reserve notes. We have 39% saying gold, respectable, and then 10% saying U.S. 10-year treasury bonds. Bitcoin wins with 49%. It, when I voted, it was over 50%. It looks like we don't have a clear winner. We will have to have a runoff between gold and Bitcoin because Bitcoin did not get over 50%, but it was the winner of the poll. And to me, this is really cool. And why is that? Well, I do have to say this. Ron Paul is known for being for leaning very libertarian, even though I believe he, I think he was an independent. I can't remember. Maybe he was a Republican. But regardless, he had many libertarian policies. I think I've just gone crazy and I can't remember exactly what it was. No, he, he definitely, I believe, was libertarian. But anyways, cryptocurrency has a libertarian lean to it. So that means that a lot of people that follow him would also probably fit that libertarian label and lean towards cryptocurrency. But with all that being said... He was a U.S. senator, and he's got a lot of tinfoil hat theories, I believe. So what that means is there's a wide audience following him. It's not just people in cryptocurrency. And the fact that out of all of his followers and the 61,000 votes he got on this, that 49% said Bitcoin. Man, that really blew me away. That gave me a lot of hope that the public is really starting to buy in to Bitcoin. And when they're thinking about 10 years from now, even though the price has dropped considerably this week, and it's obviously considerably this year, people are still looking at it as something that has the potential to go way up in the future, because that's the key to this. It says in 10 years, and you can't touch it. So I just thought that was really, really cool, and uh, I think that bodes very well for where Bitcoin is going in terms of popularity with your average person. Uh, most people, I feel like, know about Bitcoin. They know they've heard of it. If you say cryptocurrency, people are more like, oh, 
But if you say Bitcoin, most people know what that is, which is so funny that more people know Bitcoin than what cryptocurrency is when Bitcoin is a crypto. But anyways, I digress. I thought that was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with this poll? Would you put your money in Bitcoin out of those choices? I believe most of you probably would. Not financial, not polling, not poll voting advice. Not voting advice, not Twitter poll advice, but uh, let me know which one you guys would pick out of those choices. I believe the answer is pretty clear, but you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, what are you guys expecting over the next couple of days? Do you think we're going to see a dump? Um, I, I think I'm going to do a Donald Trump video, a FUD Trump video tomorrow, so you guys be on the lookout for that. Um, haven't got it 100% squared away, but uh, probably will be Sunday night or maybe Monday before I do a news video. So you guys let me know what do you guys think the markets are going to do between now and Monday. We'd love to hear your thoughts. So all right, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Bitboy out.